Hey guys, Hasib here. Welcome to this video. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how we take access to our clients' Facebook ad assets. Basically, how we take access to their Facebook page, Facebook ad account, Instagram profile, pixels, etc., etc. The stuff that we need to run ads on behalf of our clients. And this is really important to know how to take access to clients' Facebook stuff the best way possible because not only you need to make sure that this is manageable, but also you need to make sure that it's hassle free for the client because you don't want to disappoint the client at the very beginning of the relationship right so i'm going to show you how we do it in the best way possible which is known as partner access i'm going to show you how we do that for our clients and let's get right into my screen so i can start showing you all right here we are on our screen i'm going to start describing how we start the process of taking access to our clients facebook stuff first of all we get on a zoom call right and then we get them to share their screen we jump on the call with the client and we ask the client to share the screen and then we ask them to give us control through zoom access right there's a feature in zoom where you can take control of your client's computer screen so once you do that what your client has to do or you have to do for your client through zoom access is go to business dot facebook.com so once you go to business dot facebook.com what the client will see is his business account and the facebook page and the ad account being added under that business account right so i'll go to business dot facebook.com and then what i'll do is i'll go to assuming this is the client's business manager or the business account i'll go to the settings and if you don't understand what's happening here i have another video explaining all these stuff and how they work for facebook ads uh, you can go to that video and then see the entire thing and see how this should be set up for your client and this video is all about taking access so i'm not going to describe that you'll find that video's link in this video's description but anyway so once you come to the business setting of your client's business uh, account you need to make sure you have uh, you need to make sure the client has his page added. So assuming this is the client's page, a business account can have multiple pages added. Um, and then you need to make sure the client has his ad account here. So there is, as you can see, this is the client's ad account. Let's say uh, you need to also make sure the client has Instagram if you want to advertise on Instagram through the client's Instagram account. So this is a, something that people get often confused about. If the client doesn't have an Instagram account connected, that doesn't mean that you can't advertise on Instagram. That just means you can't advertise through the client's Instagram profile, right? The Facebook page will be showing on Instagram if you don't have the Instagram and added for your client, right? But it's really, uh, it's the best practice to have the client's Instagram connected so once you make sure that the page is under the business account the ad account is under the business account and maybe uh, optional Instagram is connected what you can do is you can go to partners again this is the client's business account this is not your business account we are talking about right so this is something you can help the client by jumping on a zoom call and taking access to the client's screen and then doing these for him uh, and also if they're not connected watch my other video to see how they should be set up before you take access from the client so here we are going to select partner to share access with assets with here it's asking for a partner business id so you're the partner you're the agency owner or you are the media buyer you, uh, that's going to be working on behalf of the client to run the ads so this is going to be your business account id right as someone who will be running the, the the ads for him assuming i am taking access to this business account as a partner i'm going to go to my business account to show you where you can find this id so this will be your screen as someone who's uh, going to be running ads for the client you're going to go to business.facebook.com and then you're going to browse through your business manager that you want to take access through so this is going to be my business manager uh, a lot of things will be blurred again uh, once you come to the business settings of your business account you're going to go to business portfolio info and then here uh, just beside the name of the business account you're going to see like a, a number here that's the id of your business account right so you're going to just copy it and then go back to your client's screen i'm going to go back to my client screen right now so here you're going to put the id here and then hit next so you're sharing the assets with your client uh sorry you, your client is actually sharing the assets with you now so you're going to do everything you need leads access if you're running lead generation uh you know doing those lead form stuff for your ads so you're going to take uh access to the ad account as well and then you're going to take instagram access just like page and ad account but we don't have an instagram here but the process is literally the same uh, and maybe take access to everything, right? So take everything, access, and then hit save. That's basically going to give you access from your client end 
through partner access right so now i'm going to go back to my screen right now from the client's end that's all done the client has shared what he needed to share and now it's uh, that's all on you now hey guys so i'm back uh as the facebook ad manager as someone who will be running ads again sorry for these redundant phrases but just to you know just so you understand i'm back in my own business manager not the clients i'm gonna now go to partners to make sure that the access was taken properly as you can see this was the business manager that shared access uh through partner access and if you go to assets shared with you you can see the page and the ad account that i just shared with my business manager or my business account and now that's all done you have access now but in order to use these assets or you know just actually create the ads for your clients you need to do one more step go to people and find your uh like whoever will be running ads for these clients or for, for these clients you need to go to the let, let's say i'm running ads for this client so i'm going to click on my profile edit and then i'm going to say assign assets and then i'm going to just select the stuff that i got access to i'm going to give access to everything right and then i'm going to do uh go to ad account that's the one okay and I'm going to give myself access. So even though I am the, you know, the admin and the manager and everything of, of this business account, that doesn't give me access to the partner's assets that was shared through partner access. You need to give yourself manually access to these assets in order to start running the ads. So and then if you go to ad accounts, and then if you go to the ad account and then you can open that in ads manager from here, or just go to adsmanager.facebook.com and then from the toggle you can search for the ad account and then it'll be right here and then you can start running ads for your clients so that's the process i hope that was easy enough for you to understand i know there were a lot of redundant phases but you know th that was just so you better understand the process i know this can be confusing and facebook doesn't make it easier for you so hopefully that was useful and uh, subscribe to my channel uh, if you like these content and i'll see you in the next one